we move to another genetic engineering tool is called polymer tree homo polymer tree this is very interesting uh, steps uh, involved in the genetic engineering by using these steps we can clone any kind of gene any structure of genes or any any type of genes we can we can manipulate homo polymer tree generally employ addition of some nucleotides to the end of the gene of interest or our uh, gene to going to uh, clone a gene of interest why we had these some nucleotides especially homo nucleotides uh, to the end of the, the gene of interest means one thing you should remind so the wild organism or wild bacteria or yeast or uh, fungi whatever it is we can isolate and manipulate and uh, used for purposes to produce some molecules or produce some biochemical reactions especially fermentations sometimes we are producing uh, enzymes and sometimes we are producing secondary metabolites and uh, sometimes we are producing monoclonal antibody so number of applications are that even we are going to study the production of uh, genetically modified plants uh, herbicide resistant plants so knockout mice gene therapy elisa uh, radio immunosay micro array technique so number of uh, applications are we we going to to do for some purpose application purpose so for uh, that purpose we can isolate uh, unknown genome genome containing organism so i don't know we don't know what are the exact composition of the genome but what is the sequence of the I dna see. we can not know so uh, what are the restriction sites are exist in the uh, given dna or isolated genome dna uh, any information we, we can't know but we are manipulate the dna or gene uh, in all the cloning and uh, for application purpose the time suppose we already know this uh, sequence of the dna or gene of interest no problem we can easily uh, identify the restriction what are the restrictions that exist in the given dna and uh, which type of restriction means we are used and cut the dna and it produces sticky ends and manipulate sometime we can't know the time we are uh, using this homo polymer tree very interesting technique genetic engineering here polymer means nucleotides homo means same uh, tailing means create a tail at the three dimension of the given dna this tailing to produce some sticky ends uh, for uh, insert the uh, insert the product homo polymer tailing is a general method for joining of dna only used for joining of dna molecules uh, between the gene of interest and the vector between the uh, gene of interest and the vector the annealing is a type of uh, principles to behind the uh, homo polymer tailing you know annealing is a process uh, to hybridize the dna at corresponding nucleotides the involving involving uh, dna sequences uh, both are complementary each other then only it's complementary annealing to produce the uh, recombinant vector okay in the homo polymer tailing uh, used nucleotides are generally called oligo dhc adenosine that's why we are calling poly a tail so addition of uh, dna nucleotide to the end of the dna which create uh, oligo oligo means 8 8 8 to 10 it to 10 nucleotides added to the in vitro or manually added to the gene of interest of the vector for joining of dna molecules uh, the process of application
sometimes used for uh, uh, like this. The sequence of oligonucleotides sequence added to the 3 dash end of the uh, one population of DNA molecule means gene of interest or oligonucleotides thymines are added to the end of another nucleotide population. One population means this is gene of interest, another population means vector. So please keep your mind only in the technique used for joining of DNA. So finally, two types of the DNA molecules that means gene of interest and vector can anneal each other to form mixed dimer. Here in the image shown. Uh, carefully listen. This is double standard DNA. Uh, this sequence considers here gene of interest. This sequence considers here vector. So we can uh, join together. So after the selection of uh, gene of interest and vector, both are treated with a uh, Lambda X one equally The first step of homo polymetide. Why we treated the X one nucleus means? The X one nucleus means uh, nucleus means breakdown of nucleotides or uh, hydrolysis of the three comma five phosphodiester bond. Yes, you know very well. Especially uh, it's create. Uh, Hydrolysis of the nucleotides from 5 days end of the DNA. So here, here uh, cut individual nucleotides up to here. So particular time, immediately we added incubators of corresponding and the uh, exonuclease activity to be stopped. So we finally produced a sticky end of uh, Gene of interest or vector molecule. Same here, same in the five dash in uh, may be hydrolyzed by the action of X only patients. And we are putting lambda, um, this is indicates the X only case obtained from lambda, obtained from lambda. So finally, we got a uh, um, sticky and uh, nature of the DNA. Second step is we treated the terminal transferase enzyme. Transferase means uh, transfer of adenosine molecule into the third dash. Third dash, especially is called terminal transfer. Are terminal DNA polymer, terminal DNA polymer is yes. with addition of uh, number of deoxyadenyl triphosphate to the mixture. So after incubation, with the help of uh, 38 degrees centigrade, uh, the presence of cofactor Mg2 plus, so it's added at the three dash end of the uh, given DNA. So here, uh, AA, this A, AN for uh, number of adenine nucleotides indicates here. So here indicated only 3, maybe in the length up to 10, A to 10 adenine nucleotides. So shortly we denoted AN. Similarly, this is a gene of interest. Here is vector. This one population treated with adenine, one population treated with thymine. And only in this uh, adenine and thymine are mutually part. And finally, the molecule converted into circular ratio. Yes. Similarly, a vector treated with exonuclease produces sticky ends. So uh, here also treated with the terminal transfer is in same um, with the addition of. Timing, timing it.
So here uh, time is reported sir, sequence arrange. So after the some time, we ordered the incubator of terminal transfer is, so the reaction is stopped. So finally we can easily isolate it uh, using centrifugation. After centrifugation we can uh, easily measure and absorbance of uh, the reaction product. We can easily measure how, how many number of nucleotides are added. Here the important point is that the gene of interest isolated from anywhere, even absence of restriction energy. And also vector have some multiple cloning sites, which have restriction sites. So, but both are not matched. That time the homopolymer tailing is in. Okay. Finally, mixed with the vector at gene of interest. Um, the adenine uh, complementary bunch uh, timing similarly both are linked to it. Finally, the recombinant molecule mm -hmm. form. This is an overall procedure of homopolymer tiling. Three number of major enzymes are needed for this homopolymer tailing. Uh, I am simply denoted uh, HPT. HPT means homopolymer tailing. The enzymes needed for. I already told a uh, terminal uh, deoxynucleotide tidal transferase enzyme. This enzyme purified from calf thymus calf thymus means uh, this is a young one of cow it's called calf uh, calf containing thymus is a secondary lymphoid organ uh, so this enzyme obtained from calf thymus it provides uh, addition of homopolymeric nucleotides to the tridacian it's called extension can be synthesized uh, addition of explicitly single nucleotide triposphenes repeatedly added at the tridacian of which terminal of population of DNA molecule either genome interest or vector second enzyme is phage lambda exonuclease this enzyme is unique enzyme. Uh, Digestion of nucleotides, uh, both 5 dash and 3 dash. But uh, if we are uh, produce the gene of interest or complementary CDNA or genomic library, if the gene of interest have blend yet sticky ends means no problem I and mean, we easily ligated uh, to the corresponding enzyme digested vector but if the uh, gene of interest may be produced a blend yet means so uh, that the specific on the blend end of g, uh, gene of interest subjected to homopolymer tailing after uh, the gene manipulation can be done. Suppose the PST1 is the famous restriction enzyme, type 2 restriction enzyme, which produced blend end, which produced blend end of DNA. Yes. So the blend end producing on the DNA is a very good substrate for the transferase enzyme. Uh, that then only the uh, with the help of terminal deoxy nucleotide transferase to so repeatedly addition of nucleotides to the threshold of DNA.
homo polymer trailing and the length of homo polymer trailing up to 10 to 40 homo polymer uh, nucleotides uh, was ordered. The first homo polymer trailing method is employed in the SV40 viral gene. You know, SV40. Um, SV40 is a very famous virus, double standard DNA virus, and also belongs to retrovirus. Yes. So, uh, and the double standard DNA um, involved homo polymer trailing. Finally, it's manipulated. Especially in the SV40 DNA produced circularized form after in vitro DNA polymerase treatment. But after ligation process, both are joined together to produce covalently closed circular molecule. This is the first uh, mobile trailing. Uh, Homo polymer trailing uh, extensively used to, to construct the recombinant plasmid for cloning E. coli. Either addition of adenine, adenine nucleotides or thymine or uh, guanine or cytos, and whatever it is. Maybe uracil to be added. In recent years, homo polymer tailing has been largely replaced as a result of the availability of much wider range of restriction in the nucleus enzyme. So, after this technique was invented, the restriction enzyme usage is going to decline. But Restriction enzymes uh, is effective cutting enzymes. Uh, suppose suppose the uh, the expected enzymes not not need uh, for the particular time, or whether in the restriction sites absent in the gene of interest, uh, even in the vector. So that time uh, we can um, proceed the cloning uh, using by the homo polymer type. But this is additional step. Uh, for the absence of restriction in the nucleus. But uh, which one is the better? You are asking which one is the better means either restriction enzyme or homo polymer uh, Restriction enzymes is a good uh, method for producing sticky ends because uh, restriction enzyme not only cut the DNA. If you already uh, in the Google Classroom, I send the uh, small table called type 1, type 2, type 3 and type 4. Now suppose if you are read uh, or you remember, uh, type 2 enzymes are existing dimerics. So it's containing alpha subunit and beta subunit. The beta subunit to cut the phosphodiester bond and produce sticky ends. Then, what is the role of alpha unit of restriction enzyme 2? What is the role means if you are asking this enzyme, the part of the enzyme to be uh, involved in the proof uh, So, how means uh, proof means uh, whether the restriction enzyme to recognize the specific site or not, either the phosphodiester bond and breakdown or not, either uh, serine residues, serine residue of the beta subunits, nearly 151 number of uh, serine residues binds to the 3 dash OH group. So, a lot of the activities are. Uh, monitored by the alpha subunit of restriction enzyme. So, uh, compared to homo polymer trailing restriction enzyme, uh, restriction enzyme cutting is good for us compared to homo polymer trailing.
here conventional approaches of to production of cdna library having two major drawbacks uh, the cdna produced or uh, obtained from uh, rna mrna yes yes in the M, uh, during the first stand synthesis of cdna so please please mute your voice the first stand uh, synthesis of cdna the uh, reverse transcriptase enzyme to produce the first uh, single stranded dna from rna mrna good afternoon ma'am so that time usually uh, synthesis of dna from rna we need some apparatus what is called uh, first apparatus means we need a primer and if we need a template we need a dna polymerase nucleotides and some physical condition so these are the basic needs for uh, transcription process here is reverse transcription that's all same things are needed but the process is reversed a transcription means uh, yeah, mrna produced from dna here uh, uh, dna produced from mrna but, but both both are same so these apparatus are needed that time uh, primer is very important uh, role in the transcription uh, we are isolated uh, we are isolate already total rna and uh, total mrna and isolated specific mrna by using affinity chromatography after isolation of that mrna we don't know the exact sequence of the mrna we don't know after purification from the affinity chromatography how means just the uh, polyadenine sequence are there in the mrna so oppositely uh, polyadenines are used as a receptor uh, by the affinity chromatography we can easily isolate the uh, uh, mrna total mrna or single mrna after that that mrna acts as a template for cdna production so uh, we mix with the primer dna polymerase the a deoxyadenine nucleotides uh, and other physical conditions so the time we need a primer uh, we don't know the exact sequence of mrna also how we will produce the primer we know the mrna sequence we can easily uh, chemically synthesize the nucleotide easily produce the primer polygonical primer but without uh, information of the given mrna how we we will make the polygonical primer for synthesis of single stranded dna during the cdna construction so this is a major problem okay so the time using routine primer routine routine primer uh, for uh, construction of cdna so that the routine primer will create some problem maybe exact complementary copy not produced uh, um, after reverse transcription in same reaction okay so that points are mentioned here uh, <clears throat> even uh, all experiments in the genetic engineering having problems lot of problems there please understand understand the problem how we uh, manipulate because we are biochemist so on the routine primer will uh, may not be a complementary point to the mrna uh, leads to um, unwanted cdna may be synthesized so uh, uh, we can isolate the uh, purify the cdna as a gene of interest how we will we uh, attain the 100 percentage of cloning so everything is important 
So this poly homopolymer tiling uh, to help full for or alternative method for uh, the cDNA construction. And also we are producing examples. Uh, examples means uh, I already told uh, polyclonicrotides. Exam means uh, six, mers means uh, yeah. number of nucleotides, polymers. Exa polymer means simply called the exam. Using this examer, uh, act as a primer for cDNA construction. Um, maybe exactly produce the uh, complementary cDNA for the corresponding amount. Second problem is the size of the cDNA is increased. Size of the cDNA is increased. How means uh, mm, just a overview of this problem? Uh, you know the replication procedure is you know very well, I think. Suppose we are adding primer, um, small scale primer to the uh, sub template. Uh, it is a routine primer or hexam because we don't know the mRNA. So, this at a primer, wherever the primer complementary uh, binds to specific mRNA. Wherever the sequence are matched, wherever the sequence are matched, the primer get attached. Primer get attached. And we are subsequently we are added DNA polymerase or a reverse transcriptase, whatever it is. Added. The primer going to extension. Finally, mRNA DNA hybrid. But we want this segment only means we want only this segment of mRNA. The so mRNA considers mRNA, mRNA has uh, 5 dash cap or polyatry means exactly this segment of sequence we needed for production of cDNA means the primer was randomly binded, randomly binds to the uh, wherever the sequences complement each other, which can bind. So, wherever the primers bind, the DNA polymerase or reverse transcriptase binds and extend the DNA. So, after that, we can got uh, length of very length of uh, random length of uh, single standard DNA. So, this, uh, this type of uh, DNA uh, useless. Only exactly this segment of DNA plus we need only. So, that time uh, cDNA having some demerits. So, polyethyl to help for this experiment. So, this entire uh, information to mention here. This is the last slide because time is 3, 4 and um, immediately finished. Okay. This overall uh, homopolymer trade. Okay, vector the mRNA is that this polyethyl polyethylene so easily binds hmm? addition of reverse transportation on particular condition uh, from this point in the cDNA single standard DNA 
will be synthesized. It's, this is a single stranded cDNA. But here one problem is that the RNA exists in uh, variety of structures, the hairpin loop, um, that means very loop structure. So that time the loop also produced is one of the demerits of uh, homopolymetylene method. Maybe we cut the endonuclease enzyme to here and cut the linear DNA. So for here, we cut this, this segment and produced uh, this. Segment. So the single standard cDNA directly subjected into DNA polymerase and D. Uh, deoxidized adenonucleotides produced double standard double standard uh, cDNA. Yes. Just uh, cut the X1 nucleus, X1 nucleus, S1 nucleus, S1 nucleus, uh, then finally we got the blended, blend end of DNA. Okay, blend end of cDNA. So immediately uh, uh, proceed the homopolymer trailing. Uh, finally, we produce the sticky ends. Sticky ends. Vector also treated similarly. Here also uh, added polynucleotides added to the uh, 3 dash end. So joined together by annealing. Finally, the cDNA effectively joined with the vector. Joined to the vector uh, and easily selected and for the uh, continue the cloning experiment. Okay. So, uh, homopolymer tailing, uh, very interesting, I already told, very interesting technique. And uh, maybe instead of cDNA synthesis. Thank you for watching.